you're entering the vicinity of an area adjacent to a location. The kind of place where there might be a monster or some kind of weird mirror. These are just examples. It could also be something much better. Prepare to enter the scary door. Stellaris Toxoids has introduced some disgusting new creatures, some fantastically awful new environments and scenarios, and things we can find out there in the galaxy. But nothing quite comes close to the horror and sheer disgust I feel when I first found the Tianki Death World. Tian Ort is an innocuous name for an otherwise evil and decrepit system whose inhabitants I can only assume are not the true space whales that we may know and love. And if you don't know and love the space whales, you're going to be equally disturbed and disgusted at the news I've got to bring for you. For inside this system lies the planet of Tian Ort. Now, Tian Ort is not like any regular planet you've ever found in Stellaris. No, it isn't made of solids or gases. It is instead made of corpses. We have now got in Stellaris a death world, quite literally, made of the corpses of dying space whales. When you first find this Tianqi grave mound, you'll be horrified to note that it is literally covered in hundreds and thousands, well, to be on count, of corpses. Yet the corpses, whilst not being alive per se, are still writhing and squirming as if animated by some inscrutable force. As you break down into the surface, it is hard to determine if Orak Vool is even a planet at all. Preliminary drilling only reveals strata upon strata of biological tissue. According to estimations, it would take 2,435,463 individual Tianqi bodies to produce a planetary mass of this size with a margin of error of about 5.3%. Even assuming the existence of a rocky core upon which these corpses are layered, the number of specimens involved is still significant. Did something or someone bring the Tianqi here to die? Or are they naturally drawn to this place as their final hour draws near? And if you're enjoying this video, please dissect that like button. As we uncover more detail, you'll find that the unusual liveliness, for want of a better word, of the dead Tianqi covering the surface of Orak Vool seems to be a byproduct of their regenerative capabilities. Even if technically dead, the bodies are still reassembling themselves. This system is unusually rich in nourishing substances typically found in the gas giants where Tianqi graze. Perhaps that explains why this behavior hasn't been observed before. The discovery does not explain why the dead seem to move as if controlled by a single mind, extending their tentacles to encroach upon new carcasses that fall on the planet. Further excavations will hopefully reveal new insights on the inner workings of this place or being. Our scientists are still divided on the exact nomenclature. And ladies and gentlemen, it is only going to get more and more disgusting as we get further into this ball of death. We make our way inside the Flesh Labyrinth. Our excavations unearth a complex network of tunnels extending under the surface of Orek Vool. Chemical analysis confirms the walls are entirely composed of dead Tianqi tissue. The flesh is still warm and hardly decomposed despite rivaling the age of our entire empire. It's as if the corpses were fused together, reshaped and modified to form this place. But why? And then we get to the haunted tunnels. After mapping the extensive underground network of Orak Vool, our scientists realized that the tunnels closely match the surface of the Tianqi vascular system, but on a planetary scale. The pulsating walls emanate a soft warmth, the temperature slowly increasing as the expedition approached the planet core, where then our sensors have picked up a faint life signal. But do you dare to uncover more? In a vast underground network chamber, we then find the mother brain. A Tianqi stands upright, bell-shaped head swaying lightly, its wiry tentacles spread across the floor to connect with the outer walls of the chamber. It appears to be some sort of command unit, controlling 
and directing the growth of this planet-sized graveyard. Our scientists are then unable to determine what kind of creature will arise from this grim process and when it will awaken, but one thing is for sure, it will be something far, far more vast and terrible than an ordinary Tianqi. We are then left with a decision. Either we dissect the core and then we get the Tianqi Butcher modifier, giving us 10% damage to Tianqi and 10% damage to Tianqi Matriarchs. Or, alternatively, we can monitor its growth without harming it. I don't know what foul abomination might be spawned by this, but I find myself unable to look away, unable to stop the process from continuing. What manner of creature do you think might spawn from the Tianqi Grave Mound? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to find out more about the new entities in Stellaris Toxoids, click this video to find out more about the nature of the Toxic God.